Masao just sent me an updated version of his multi-track plugin and yay it basically has every feature I wanted it to have except for one but that's not really a big deal for wouldn't be a big deal for me anyway because of how I mix but alright and I'm gonna say I'm opening this program as a standalone so that I don't have a random bricked copy of Utau on my screen anyway there are two big changes, and I don't know if it already had r render. Go to project, render wave file, and it lets you render um, all of the wave files. Now, I'm going to warn you, it, it doesn't render them all together. It only renders one track at a time. But if you have multiple USTs on one track, um, like all of the main and all of the harmony or whatever then it'll render that track you'll render the next track and it'll just be up to you to put all of them in the same place in your DAW of choice or audacity if you still use audacity anyway the first big change which I'm really happy about and replaces any need for editing is that if you double click on the UST in the track it opens the UST in Utau and here you can edit it however you want like that I guess and right now it hasn't done anything it doesn't automatically you change it in Utau it changes it in Uta ooh, multitask thingy but if you save it it automatically captures all of it all it automatically loads the new version of the UST so the only thing that you might not like about replacing an editing feature with that ability is that you have to save your UST each time you want the changes to show up but that's not a big deal especially if you keep backups anyway so that's really the main features and oh my goodness I am so happy about them um as a note it I disable my shield so I don't know if it still has the problem of being really sketchy for antiviruses um but yeah I'm having a hard time saying any more about it because even though these are just really small features render the tracks double click to open and open the UST in a new instance of Uto and um, the only uh, a tiny tiny problem is that it will always open in, in a new instance of Uto it won't um, it won't actually um, bring the one that it was originally into the forefront but if you're okay with going down to your taskbar and finding the right one, then it's not going to be a problem. So double click to open up the file in Uto. Save the file in Uto to have it automatically update so you don't need to edit, so there's no need for an editor function inside of the multi-track plugin. And go up to project and render WAV file. And that's basically all I said that it needed. And I'm really happy about it. Um, make sure to download the newest version. And yeah, have fun.